Hi guys! Mag-start tayo ng bagong series sa mathematics and this is about differential calculus. So, ang una natin pag-uusapan is about the increment of a function. So, let's say our task is to investigate how a function changes in value when the independent variable changes. So, let us say we have this function right here which is y is equal to x squared. Okay, so, ang task natin is to investigate how this value will change when the independent variable changes. So, kapag nagbago yung x natin, how the y will change? So, the problem in differential calculus is to measure this change in the function with mathematical precision. So, let's say the increment of a variable is the very small change in the value of the variable. Now, in our case here, the change is denoted by the symbol delta. Okay? So, for example, we have delta x. This denotes an increment of x, okay, which is read as delta x. The same way, if we have delta y, this is denoting an increment of y. And this is read as delta y. So, hindi ito binabasa ng delta times y. Oh. This is read as delta y. Okay, so let us have this uh, function again. So, let's say we have y is equal to x squared, no? Okay, so given this function, uh, let us try to look the value of x, the value of y, the increment of x, and the increment of y. So, let us do some changes, no? Para makita natin. So, let's say ang initial value ng x natin is 10. Okay? So, initial value. So, if our x is equal to 10, we will have here y is equal to 10 squared. Therefore, our y is equal to 100. So, we will have here 100. And we don't have an increment yet because this is our initial value. No? Now, let's say... Uh, our value of x is changed to 11. Okay? So, therefore, our delta x, which denotes an increment in x, we have here 11 minus 10. So, our delta x is equal to 1. Now, what will be our value of y? So, our y is equal to 11 squared, which is equal to 121. Okay? So, we'll have here 121. So, with this, ilan ang ating delta y? We have 121 minus 100. So, we'll have 21. So, ito ang ating delta y. So, nakikita ninyo, no, yung pinagkaiba nila nung ating increment. And then, let's say, binabaan natin yung value ng ating x. Let's say, we have here 9.5. Okay? So, we have x is equal to 9.5. So, bumaba yung value ng ating x. No? Therefore, our delta x, which is equal to 9.5 minus 10, we will have here negative 0 0.5. So, yan ang ating delta x. No? Ang ating increment is negative 0 0.5. So, ano naman yung magiging value ng y natin? So, our y is equal to uh, 9.5 squared. So, therefore, our y is equal to 90.25. So, we have here 90.25. So, the value of y is also reduced, no? From 100 to 90.25. Therefore, yung value ng ating y has an increment of negative 9.75. Because we have 90.25 minus 100 is equal to negative 9.75. So, anong mapapansin natin dito? So, we can see from here that y increases when x increases. And also, y decreases when x decreases. And the value of delta x and delta y carry the same signs. Okay? May kita nyo yung delta x natin dito is negative and also our delta y is negative. And also, in here, 
ang delta x natin is positive and delta y natin is also positive. Well, this is so because we have an increasing function. y is equal to x squared is an increasing function when x is greater than 0. Now, if you have a decreasing function, like for example, y is equal to 1 over x, then on this case, the signs of delta x and delta y will be reversed. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. And now let us try to find out yung ratio of increment ng y and the increment of x. So we are talking about here the ratio of the increment of y over the increment of x. Okay, so let us talk about this one. So, balikan natin yung function natin kanina, which is y is equal to x squared. Well, assuming a fixed initial value of x, let x take on an increment delta x. When y will have a fixed initial value and will also take on a corresponding increment delta y. Okay, so this is what will happen sa ating equation dahil magkakaroon tayo ng changes or increments sa ating y and sa ating x. So, we will have y plus the increment of y will be equal to x plus the increment of x squared. Okay? So, nagkaroon tayo ng increment sa y and nagkaroon tayo ng increment sa x. So, let us work out itong ating uh, expression dito sa right side which is x plus delta x squared. So, we will have here y plus delta y is equal to x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Okay? So, we just solve this uh, expression right here. Now, we know that y is equal to x squared, right? So, kung isa-substitute natin yan dito, magkakaroon tayo ng x squared plus delta y is equal to x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. And now, we have delta x on the left and right side of our equation. So, this will be cancelled out. And that leaves us with delta y is equal to 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Now, ano ba yung inahanap natin? No? Itong ratio na to. Delta y over delta x. So, we will divide the left and right side of the equation by delta x. So, we will have delta y over delta x. And then in here, we have 2x delta x divided by delta x plus delta x squared over delta x, okay? Okay, so what we'll have here is that our delta x will be cancelled out. And in here, we have delta x, okay? So we'll have here delta y over delta x is equal to 2x plus delta x. Now, what will happen if our delta x is very small approaching 0? In symbols, it will be written as the limit as delta x approaches 0, delta y over delta x is equal to 2x plus delta x. And since x is approaching 0, so we'll have 0 here. So that means we'll have here the limit of delta x approaching 0, delta y over delta x is equal to 2x. So therefore, if delta x is very small approaching 0, the ratio of delta y over delta x will approach 2x. And this right here is what we call the derivative of y with respect to x. which in this case is equal to 2x. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. 
It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much and have a nice day!